What's up guys, it's me Janne here and in today's video I'll be going through the 10 most satisfying corners to nail on the trolley. And yes, this list is subjective, so those are all my opinions on the list, so if you don't agree with my opinions, shame, really. But yeah, let's start with the list. The first pick on this list is in Finland, in the Jarvenskula stage, with this medium speed chicane going a bit downhill. And the reason why I like this is that I just like quick change of direction mid corner. As we can see here from the chase cam, first I flick the card to the left and then pow to the right. Well, in this clip it is a bit slowly demonstrated, but I think it works even better on Group A cars. The second addition to my list is in Wales in the bit no more land reverse stage with this jump into a right hand corner at the end of sector 2 and I just love this corner even though this high end die was a bit tricky around it but basically what you want to do here is to do a small Scandinavian flick just before the crest so the car will turn sideways in the air and you will make the corner and it will look spectacular and you will feel like a rallying guard and the only bad thing at my execution here was that I went a bit too much sideways. The third addition to the list is in Greece in the Foketa Korva stage. I don't know if I pronounced it correctly, but with this downhill left hander at the beginning of sector 2. And I like this corner, especially with older cars, since they have less power and are heavier. You can just throw the car into the corner and power through and you will be aided by the real world drive and you have to maintain the drift and everything it just is another one of those corners that make you feel like you actually can drive even though you probably can't at least that's the case for me the fourth addition to the list is in monte carlo on the route to the turini descente stage with this narrow chicane on sector one and yes this is a high speed section on the stage and it requires quite a lot of precision to manage to go through it and yes it feels really good when you can actually go through it for a change instead of crashing out horribly the fifth addition to my list is in wales in the punt mall and the punt mall reverse stages with this log pile corner and the reason i included this with both ways driven is because this corner is extremely fun and rewarding corner taken both ways since in both ways when you're going through the corner you have to cu cut quite a bit to be quick and as well in here you can see that especially going uphill you will get on two wheels and it will make you feel like you're Colin McRae on attack and on downhill it just gives you the similar kind of feeling when you're just going as close to the poles and the sign as possible gives you the feeling that you really are on the edge and that's amazing the sixth addition to my list is in sweden on the elksjern stage with this fast chicane just right after this flat out downhill section and yeah, I like it because, well, first of all, you're going flat out and then there's this long left-hander and a quick change of direction to the right-hander and you continue almost flat out after that. And yeah, it just feels amazing to nail this corner, just like every other on this list. The seventh addition to the list is in Finland on the Kailajärvi stage where is this jump in the right hand corner on the sector 3 of the stage and basically here you just go almost flat out over the crest and flick the car a bit sideways so you will go between the guardrails and be happy which is not normal in Finland so you will be probably stabbed for smiling instead of frowning but you made the corner and you look badass
that's what matters the most. The eighth addition to the list is in Wales on the different Afon and different Afon reverse stages. And it is this, well, on this direction, it is a right hander over crest going a bit downhill where you have to cut and it's really narrow and tricky to get it right but when you get it it's quite rare at least for me and it makes me feel really really good here's the corner from another angle but the corner is way much better when you're going uphill and as a left hander since you can attack the corner a lot more and usually you get spectacular two wheel action that will once again make you feel like Colin McRae and that's that shit that I like as we can see here it looks like uh, I'm absolutely on the limit and well yeah at least I was absolutely on the limit of my luck if nothing else the penultimate corner on this list is in Wales on the different Afon stage which is this downhill right hand corner on sector 2 and this is one of the hardest corners in the game to get absolutely right in my opinion so when you do finally get it right after a thousand tries it makes you feel ecstatic and makes you feel like a rally god once again but then on the next corner it's completely gone when you crash out but you get a cool rally clip like this and you get a raging rally boner from a replay clip like this and the last and most satisfying corner in dirt rally is in germany on the fluxer ring stage and this is the last corner of the stage a double apex right hander first with a right four and then with a hairpin right and it is really hard to maintain a clean slide around the corner since it is hard to start the slide so basically it's the same as it is hard for a single guy to control his girlfriend because he doesn't have a girlfriend to begin with but yeah nailing this corner is like viagra for dirt rally players it just feels so amazing And that was the video. Thank you so much for watching. And well, yeah, as you can see, my rally boner hasn't come down yet from all those amazing corners. But thanks for watching. And I'll see you on Monday with another Maximum Attack Monday. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.